Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the different causes of brake fade and the different types of brake fade and what can be done to prevent them from happening. Brake fade is a temporary or sudden reduction in braking power, usually caused by excessive heat in the braking system. If there is excessive heat built up in the braking system from repeated braking or from high load braking, or from high speed braking, then the braking performance will gradually reduce. So if there is a sudden reduction in braking power, we say that is a brake fade. Now what could be the cause of a brake fade? In order to discuss the cause of a brake fade, first let's summarize the operating principle of a brake. This is a drum brake. Usually brake fade happens on the drum brake types. And when drum brake is operated, this is a wheel cylinder. Hydraulic pressure will be introduced in between these pistons. See, when, when brake pedal is applied, hydraulic pressure will force this piston to this side. It will force this piston to this side. What will that do? That will force this brake shoe onto the rotating drum. Drum will be rotating in such a manner. So when brakes are applied, the hydraulic pressure will force this wheel cylinder piston to push the wheel cylinder outwards, forcing the brake shoe to be depressed hard against the rotating drum. This will cause friction to occur between the brake drum and the lining material. That will gradually reduce the vehicle speed because the mechanical energy that is on the brake drum will be transferred to heat energy as a result of friction between the brake lining and the brake drum. Now what happens is when there is a very excessive use of frequent use of brakes that will overheat the braking system components. So when there is continuous and excessive braking, repeated braking will build up heat. When there is excessive heat that is produced as a result of excessive braking or repeated braking, that will be the number one cause of brake fade. Now what will happen when the temperature in this environment increases rapidly? There are three things that can happen. Number one, the drums they tend to expand outwards. Now, because of their circular nature, when temperature increases and when there is excessive temperature fed to the drum, drum tends to expand outward. What will that do? The drum will tend to travel away from the brake shoe. So when you depress the brake pedal, the brake pedal will force hydraulic fluid and the hydraulic fluid will push the brake shoe towards the drum. But because the drum has expanded a little far away from this brake shoe, then the force that you previously used to press this onto the drum will somehow reduce. That will cause reduction in braking performance. So that is called a mechanical fade. Now, due to the increase in temperature, drum expands out, will travel further away from the brake shoe lining, and that will cause brake fade. The other thing is when this environment temperature increases, that temperature will also affect the brake fluid. Brake fluid is actually incompressible. When pressure is applied on the brake pedal, the brake fluid should act like a solid surface. It should act like a solid bar and push the wheel cylinders out. But when there is extreme temperature build up in the drum brake assembly, that will overheat the master cylinder fluid, the brake fluid will tend to boil. Now what is the problem with the boiling or expanding brake fluid? It will become compressible. Now when you apply the brake pedal, it will start to compress the brake fluid. The brake fluid will, instead of pushing the wheel cylinder, will start to compress by itself. That will reduce the force that is exerted on the brake shoe and that will also reduce the braking performance. And the other thing that can happen as a result of the extreme temperature inside the drum brake when it is close to brake fade is the degradation of the lining material. When there is extremely high temperature, these lining materials are bonded together with some adhesive. Now when there is extreme temperature, those will start to become loose those tiny and loose brake components and debris and dirt 
they will start adhering to the already heated drum. Then what will happen? That will cause some film of hot lining dust to cover the lining material and the brake drum internal surface where, fr where friction is supposed to happen. So now the friction coefficient of friction will change because it is no more between asbestos material and steel. It will become same material here and same material here due to that extreme temperature abrasion and adhesion of that fine and uh, loose brake lining material. So that will cause another problem by reducing the coefficient of friction right in here. So excessive heat buildup in the braking system will cause brake fade. Another cause of a brake fade is water entrance into the system. If your vehicle is very recently being driven in a wet environment and if somehow water is admitted into the brake system, that will cause the brake drum in the lining to become wet. Now, usually these brakes are operated in a dry friction principle. If water is admitted into the system, that will change the coefficient of friction happening between the brake lining and the brake drum, and that will reduce the braking performance of your vehicle. So another cause of a brake fade is water entrance into the brake system. Now, how can a brake fade be prevented? The number one cause of brake fade, as we have previously mentioned, is excessive use of the brakes. Try to avoid excessive braking. Try shifting down. By shifting your vehicle to first gear and second gear, you can reduce the load on the brake. If you have a hoof putting your foot on the brake pedal when you are driving, that will also cause the brake to fade away. That will cause some force on the brake shoe. The brake shoe will be pressed against the rotating drum and that will gradually overheat. So if you have a tendency of putting your foot on the brake pedal and riding in such a manner, you should also avoid that. Now please always remember that brake fade is usually it's a scenario that is happening on drum brakes, not something that happens on disc brakes. Disc brakes, unlike drum brakes, when temperature is increasing and when components start to expand, when it comes to drum brakes, the drum would run away from the brake shoe. But when it comes to disc brake, the brake pad will become very tightly pressed on the rotating disc. In a disc brake, when temperature increases, let's say when temperature has increased and this rotor has started to become expanding like so, what will that do? It will even bring it closer to the brake pads. So temperature fade is not an issue when it comes to disc brake. And if you have seen most of the disc brakes, they have some way of ventilating the disc because the majority of the disc area is vented out. As you can see, it is not a confined surface like that of a drum brake. This is extremely exposed to wind as the vehicle is being driven. That will take off the heat. And so we will have very minimum or almost no issue of brake fade when it comes to disc brake. And even if this wheel is driven in a wet environment, if this is driven in water, then the brake parts, which are somehow lightly pressed onto the rotor, will wipe that out, and there is no chance of water admittance into the middle part of the brake parts. So the brake part will remain dry, so there will be no issue with temperature fade, no issue of water fade when it comes to disc brake. So dear viewers, that is all we have for you in this presentation. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.